2019 First Alert forecast. Certified most accurate since 2004. And for the championship games, wet out in Baltimore on the East Coast. Meanwhile, dry, nice over on the West Coast for San Francisco. So either way, as we head locally today, it is going to be a damp one filling in with that rain again after we've seen a break here over the past couple of hours. Temperatures will be stuck in the 30s today. Those areas though further south that are in the 40s will begin to drop off as well. And as that colder air catches up with us, that rain mixes with and eventually changes over to some mainly melting wet snow as we see the gusty breezes. But because of these marginal temperatures just can't even get below freezing accumulation is going to be difficult to come by unless we get a real heavy burst, which is possible in just a couple spots. Meanwhile, temperatures right now you can see the 30s along the lakeshore communities, but notice these mid 40s down south Akron at 44 right now. Warren 43 have about 46 in New Philadelphia. Eventually we'll get that cooler air catching up, though it does come this way and we'll see temperatures dropping everywhere throughout the day as we see those breezes picking up a north wind in Cleveland right now. It's 16 miles per hour and so it's that wind driven rain that's not so fun to walk the dog in and you'll have to keep in mind too as you're headed out to the later church service this morning once that rain fills back in as we have seen a break over the past couple of hours for a lot of us with the exception being parts of Lake and Ashtabula counties just stuck in those showers and now looking to fill a bit back in towards Sandusky but here comes some more showers in by the south so perhaps a bit of drizzle filling in there towards Medina and Akron. As you can see, this low pressure system, the swirl well defined that rain towards Columbus will be moving up this way here over the next couple of hours, and that's what you can see on our future views. So by midday, we're looking at the showers again. It's still going to be rain, though. That cold air has just been slower and slower to catch up with us. In fact, for the most part, a lot of us may not see the true cold air until the precipitation is gone, but don't let your guard down. We still have the opportunity overnight for some flurries and even some lake effects scattered snow to Tomorrow. So if you don't get a snow accumulation this afternoon and evening, well, don't let your guard down tomorrow morning as temperatures will be near freezing with any lake effect snow showers that will be focused mainly during the morning hours. So I don't want to roll out a dusting and maybe up to an inch in a few spots, those higher elevations that get some of those snowfall totals. Of course, it'll be limited, though, to just grassy and elevated surfaces. The roadways just staying wet out there and be mindful of some ponding on the roads today as well. We've got temperatures in the 30s as we head through the middle of the upcoming week, scattered lake effect snow mainly the morning tomorrow, a light wintry mix Tuesday, dry and pretty mild for the first day of February, mid 40s Thursday, and then another light wintry mix for Groundhog Day on Friday.